Hey guys, this is Getsumaru, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. Last time we got the big key, the Kanapaki, and now let's go own the box. Which is in the same room as the big key. Alright, let's uh, get a couple hearts. And a fairy. And I still got my bottled one. Alright, let's go kick his butt. He's very easy. What you do is, um... Well, I'll show you once you see him. What you want to do is you want to hit his body with a can of Packy, and then uh, climb up his neck and kick his butt. Like that. And then you just get up him and just... And when he starts shaking, is that that's when you want to get off him, because then he's going to start uh, sinking into the ground. And then he'll start tumbling rocks down. And shoot a flamethrower. And let's repeat. Oh crap. Yeah, I didn't get as many hits in as I could have. I would have failed there. But yeah, whenever they're. He's gonna occasionally, when he goes under, uh, make the lava go all the way uh, to the very edges. Like this. Just kind of hug the corners and sides, and you're good. And avoid the fallen rocks, but that's a given. Then he'll shoot a bunch of fire. And then, just, that's it. This boss isn't that hard, but I kept failing on the fire so much. Alright. And it's like this, I'm just gonna get rid of all the fire, cause... Yeah, I can put you in a bad situation, cause last time I got cornered by the fire. And I didn't know you could use the sword to get rid of it, and it didn't really end too well, I can tell you that much. <laughs> Oops. Alright. Alright, that's simple. And... He's dead. We win. And we're... We just uh, sat on a piece of fire and made it go away. Alright. Yeah, easy boss fight. Not so easy when I attempted it the first time when I got owned by the fire too much. But yeah, yeah. Learn from your mistakes. <laughs> and there's the second element. Alright. And amazing music to celebrate. You got the fire element. Flames bring light to darkness and warmth to all. The fire element is the embodiment of that power. Sweet. Alright. Do the link dance. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Dance, Link, dance. Okay, that's enough dancing. We get the heart container. Bam. Seven hearts and we pour it out of here. Maybe Malari is done with uh, our sword by now. Oh, that was hot. It was so hot I thought my fibers would catch fire. But now it's over. I suppose we should go back to Malari. Well, if you caught on fire, you shouldn't talk anymore, so that wouldn't be exactly a bad thing. Alright. So, off we go. And he should be done. Let's see. Yep, look at that sword. Wow, that was fast work, but not so fast that I didn't finish your sword. Here, take a look. I call this the new blade, the white sword. I can get where the name comes from. That's one white blade. You got the white sword. It's beautiful. White blade sparkles with light. You can put away your grandfather's sword now. Aw, but I want to use them both. Who needs a shield? Once you infuse it with the power of the elements, it will become a sacred blade. The forest elder no doubt told you this part, but if you want to infuse the sword, you must go to the elemental sanctuary. The sanctuary is a strange realm trapped between two worlds. It is the bridge between the Minish world and the human world. The doorway to the sanctuary opens only once every hundred years. You'll find that door hidden within Hyrule Castle. Once the blade has been filled with the power of the four elements, you should be able to break the curse on the princess. I know you can do it. After all, you made short work of that human mind. Let me tell you about the shortcut you can use to get down the mountain. Alright, he's just talking about a shortcut. But yeah, that doesn't matter too much. What we're going to do is we're going to leave, then we're going to come back. 
I hope Bellari's in his room. Yeah, he is. Because now we're gonna go trade kinstones with him. And if I'm not mistaken, this room's right here. Aw, oh, damn, you can't kinstone trade him yet. Oh yeah, you gotta do it after that. Oh. Oh well. For now, let's get the hell out of here. And now we're just gonna climb down the mountain in a very easy manner. And hopefully make it to the animal sanctuary. Yeah. In the next episode, there's gonna be a lot of hard beast hunting because we can get a lot of them now. Yeah. Alright, now let's just get out of here. on the right way. No, oh wait, I am. Alright. Yeah, next time um, I have to go to the same place, I'm just gonna cut it there, because it'll be easier. And I have a feeling I took the wrong way, but oh well, we'll be there soon enough. Not soon enough that I can uh, cut towards it, because it's the first time, but yeah. Alright. Yeah, you can roll through your enemies uh, to dodge damage, but like me, I don't always do it perfectly. So, oh well. And now, we're done here. Let's go to Hyrule Town. Alright. One of the first things we're gonna do here is learn a new skill, because we. He said come back when you get a new sword. Actually, I don't know if I did that. But, um. For now, let's suck up all these uh, things right here. That'll be of importance later, but yeah. Now, let's go find White Blade, or Swift Blade, whatever his name is. Hmm, a new sword, fantastic, and you seem to have acquired new skills with it. Yes, I am ready to train you again, young swordsman. Will you accept it? Yes. I will teach you a technique called the Rock Breaker, so pay attention. First, swing your sword to break pots, and that's it. Yes. Ah, good. If you had said you didn't understand it, would have serious doubts about you. But one must feel the technique, not just hear about it. That's why I will now demonstrate your body as... I uh, now uh, possess your body to demonstrate the technique. Alright, swift blade position... Possession technique of training. Watch this. G position Cha! Bam. Pretty straightforward. That's it. Now we got a second Tiger Scroll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna worry about any Kinstone trading for now, cause um, when I hit a certain part, I can do all. I can farm uh, the green Kinstone pieces very, very easily, and then I'll get them all. Then stupid postman he runs around too much. He's got to take less coffee and uh, more uh, non-caffeinated beverages. Yeah, I don't know where I was going with that. But to Hyrule Castle. I hope we have enough time. Oh yeah, we do. We should at least. Yeah, she's... You look fine. You're a hat. Nobody cares about you. And I mean it. Oh wait, I think it's this way. Yes, it is. Alright. If we go through here... Hey, Link, look! See how that doorway glows? Could this be the sanctuary? Nobody in the castle can see it but you and me. Let's go. Alright. And we're in the elemental sanctuary. Sweet. Alright. And we're locked in. Look at this mystical place. If only there was a better sword we could pull out of it. Oh well. So this is the elemental sanctuary then. Is this where you infuse your blade with the power of the elements? Alright, there's a pedestal for a sword. Now let's go stick it in there. Is there anything up here? No. Alright. Bam. And now, the elements will infuse into our blade. And it turns purple, then red. Oh yeah. And our sword is now 
The white sword with two elements infused into it. The powers of earth and fire elements have infused into your blade. And this statue tells us about what we can do with the new white sword. Alright, fill your sword with the power and walk over the glowing tile. Alright, I'll show you what it does. Pretty much you can make... Hey, shut up. We can make a clone once the meter's full. Bam. And now we made a clone. The more elements, the more you can get. Once you get the last two elements, you can make three clones and have four of you. And then you can gang up on anyone you want and have your own little gang of hoodlums. Alright. Well, now I'll show you how to leave. Pretty straightforward. Step on these evenly, step on the switches, and then you leave. And that's it to it. But we're low on time, so I'll see you next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. Alright, see you next time.